Welcome to Red Hat Consulting whiteboarding session. I'm Harsh Patel, and I'm a Red Hat Consultant. I'm Mahmoud Aliza, also with Red Hat Consulting. And today we want to talk about the benefits of cloud native application development, which delivers OpenShift workspaces and end browser IDE. Oftentimes, when we're working with clients with large teams working on complex applications, we see issues where it works and builds on one developer's machine, but it doesn't on another. How can we solve this? The solution to that would be a centralized application development environment, which each team member can access. This way, everybody has the shared runtime libraries, tools, and dependencies. We have a productized version of that within Red Hat, and it's called Red Hat Code Ready Workspace, and it's based off of um, an upstream project called Eclipse Che. It's a secure and shareable developer workspace. Got you. So how does Code Ready Workspace uh, allow everybody in the team to build in the same development environment? When you are thinking of cloud native application development environment, which Code Ready Workspace is, you would think of a cluster. Here, we have an OpenShift cluster, and it's accessible by each member within a team. And you can see in OpenShift cluster, we have a project called Namespace One. And within that Namespace One, we have three different instances of um, Code Ready Workspace. So it's Workspace One, Two, and Three. Each team member has access to um, his or her own workspace instance. And um, this way, everybody shares the same runtime dependencies and libraries. Got you. So you mentioned a few new terms here. I wanted to know if you can elaborate a little bit more on what workspace entails. Right. So to explain what workspace is, I would point to this diagram here. And you can see it has three different buzzwords. And it's recipe, their recipe, stack, and workspace. So when you think of recipe, you can think of a Docker image. And when we build a stack, um, it's, we're building it off of a recipe. And stack contains the runtime dependencies and libraries. And stack is not of any use just by itself. You have to like create a workspace based off of stack. And the workspace would have the stack's instance. And it would also contain the imported source code that's specific to your project. Got you. So let's say if I have a new team member, as I'm talking about a large development team, I often have team members leaving or joining the team. How easy is it to share this workspaces with new or you know new developers or somebody else that might want to see the work, the code ready workspace? Correct. So what's good about code ready workspace is it can, it offers uh, something called factory, and what factory is it's a template that contains the workspace. So you can factory you can share the factory using a URL and when someone on board, um, you would give them the URL, and that person can go access the URL through that. When you access the URL, it would spin up a workspace instance within the cluster. So that way, you can create the workspace instance. Got you. So you know, a little earlier, you talked a little about stacks and workspaces. You know, what if I wanted to create a workspace that doesn't have the technology and tools available in base workspace that is available now? How can I go about that? That's a very good question. So, so let's say that you don't have what you're looking for um, within the stack. Then you can take um, base stack and um, get the container image from that base stack and add um, the, the tools and libraries that you want that's specific to your team. And from that, you can, now you can use the new container image to create the workspace. Got you. So just to recap here, the, I, I can add all my runtime dependency libraries in a stack, which I would use to create a workspace. That workspace can be shared throughout my development team, so everybody can be working in the same development environment correct. through a shared IDE. Is that correct? Exactly. And um, as you speak of the IDE, I want to kind of elaborate on that. So the in-browser IDE um, provides all the features, um, packages, tools, and utilities that um, any popular IDEs would provide, for example, VS Code. And it also has um, version control system, so you can embed, like version control system embedded in it, so you can um, import Git projects and collaborate through that. It also has the um, keyboard shortcuts. It offers keyboard shortcuts, and it also flags dependencies error on real time. Got you. So just to recap here, um, Code Ready Workspace is an existing Red Hat tool that offers secure OpenShift workspaces and in-browser IDE, and it enables large teams to work collaboratively by sharing all of their dependencies, tools, and utilities needed for the shared development environment. Is that That's correct? exactly correct. Cool. So if somebody wanted to get more information on Code Ready Workspaces or cloud native application development, how can they do that? So to do that, they can definitely reach out to their Red Hat account executive or go to redhead.com slash services to get a conversation started.